You are looking at a 2006 Chevy Equinox. Uh, this one has a 3.4 liter six cylinder engine. Has a really nice set of matching Kumo tires. Uh, it's clean inside and out. This seat lays almost flat. This piece comes out, it actually drops down to there. Uh, it sits in all these slots that are on the side there. So you can have different levels of storage, but those seats lay almost completely flat. Um, this one is the LT, which is one of the higher trim levels. This one actually also has a uh, tow package, which is pretty neat. Um, as you can see, it does have hard back on the seat. That seat lays down too. So if you wanted to use it as a uh, co-piloting chair, um, but the interior is clean and in really good shape. Let me start it up. But it does have, these have a lot of tread wear left on them. These tires are quasi new. Uh, let me fire it up for you. It has a, a slot on top that allows for a roof rack. It has 115,667 miles. I think I'm going to drive it and go put some gas in it while I'm driving. But it runs pretty quietly. They always sound a little louder in the videos, but it does run quietly. One of the only things on the exterior that I would note is that it has a very small ding and a couple of little splotches on the paint right there. But besides that on the exterior, there is nothing to point out. It's pretty clean. One little strike there. And a couple scratches on the back bumper um, but overall the exterior of the car is in really good shape I'm gonna take it for a spin this is turned over so that I don't get the carpet dirty because the carpet's pretty clean um, take it for a quick spin oh, it is cold here today in Delaware the heat works in here um, it does have an ABS light that comes on intermittently we did put the new sensor in um, my mechanic says that uh, it might need a, a wheel bearing is one of the reasons because it has, I don't know who's explaining it to me, something about the magnetism of the wheel bearing or I don't know, something. Uh, the tire pressure light's on because I had to put air in one of the tires. That should go off as I drive. Uh, those are fairly simple. Uh, but overall, 115,000 miles, it does get up to speed. It runs well, shifts well, brakes well. Uh, this is a really nice car. Let me turn the radio down. The radio works well. Um, if you win the auction, uh, you would owe a balance or a $250 deposit uh, via PayPal within 48 hours of the close of the auction, followed by the balance within seven days. Uh, the vehicle is located in Frankfurt, Delaware. Uh, zip code 19945 uh, if you flew here you would fly to Salisbury Airport Salisbury Maryland airport code SBY that is Sierra Bravo Yankee um, as you can see it has a lot of room it's nice I wish my wife had one of these she drives a soul they're crap uh, but I could pick you up at the airport I'll put a 60-day Delaware temporary tag on this car to drive it back to wherever you're from um, this would make a really nice car for, you know, the family or, I mean, you can use this as, uh, you can use it for a lot of things. That's what's cool about SUVs. They're pretty versatile. Um, but you could pay for the balance via a uh, cash or a cashier's check by mail. You can pay for it in cash when you pick it up. I'm actually picking up two guys at the airport tomorrow that bought vans. Uh, and they're driving them home to Rochester and Georgia. This is one that I would trust to drive a long distance. It's a nice car. Uh, this one doesn't have any known issues. I can't make any crazy guarantees. You would buy, be buying it as is. However, uh, I would trust this to go a pretty long distance. Um, if you have any other questions, my name is Jay. My office manager's name is John. You can call the lot at 302-732-6800. We'll answer any and all questions. Um, I wish you good luck and happy bidding.